Good morning guys, it's Saturday morning, um, just at home today because I didn't get a chance to film yesterday because we just had a, um, a new employee start. So we've got Adam starting our physio assistant and you may start to see him in some videos that we're going to upload onto the group. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm at home today. So Fran asked me to do a video on muscular endurance and how is it different to muscular strength. So we're going to be covering that today. And we're also going to be touching on muscular power as well, because that's the third aspect of uh, muscle training. Uh, so hopefully this will, this will uh, cover all areas that you need to understand. And we're going to be putting in some normal day-to-day -day activity examples and also sports-specific examples as well. So what we'll do, we'll start with muscular endurance. So muscular endurance is um, the ability of the muscle to perform over a period of time um, or how long somebody can do an activity for or how many repetitions they can do. So that an example of that could be um, how long they can ski for. So when you go skiing, you tend to feel like your thigh muscles get tired and that will be caused by doing your skiing activity for maybe an hour or two, three hours and that will be challenging your muscular endurance because it's how long you can do the activity for. In the gym, an example of performing an endurance activity would be lifting a light weight, maybe 30, 40, 50 times. So it's how many times you can repeat the activity, how long you can do the activity for. Um, an example um, that you might um, find a little bit more um, like hits home is just say you uh, are going to an office block and you've got the lift or you can climb the stairs, it's on level five and normally you just jump in the lift. Some people may decide, right, I'm gonna do the stairs today, I wanna to do some exercise. By the time you get to the top of the stairs, your legs are burning, you feel like your legs might be shaking a little bit. That's because you've challenged your muscular endurance because it's not just doing one flight of stairs that might be quite easy, you keep pushing your body, keep pushing your body, and then you're fatiguing your muscles through an endurance activity. So that's muscular endurance in a nutshell. Um, so muscular strength is how much you can lift in one go, or how much weight you can lift in one go, or how much force you can produce in one go. Uh, so a good example of that in the gym is when we do like a one repetition max test, and that's where an example of a uh, you could do a deadlift, so you're lifting a weight up from the floor and we're trying to find out how much weight you can lift in one go. So we'll just keep putting more and more weight on the bar until you're not able to do it. And the final lift that you can do is your one rep max. And that's a test for muscular strength. So a good example of that in your day-to-day -day life is being able to pick your suitcase up and lift it up into those overhead lockers on a plane. Quite often, you've packed your bag really heavy and most of the time you're pulling it around um, using the handle, but in that one occasion, you need to lift that over your head and put it into that overhead locker. And it's normally really tough. So that's a challenge of your muscular strength because it's how much force you can produce to push that over your head and put it into the locker. The way that you can compare that to endurance is if you didn't fill the case up particularly heavy, maybe you made it five kilos, and you just kept lifting that over your head as many times as you can, and then you might get to say 20 or 30, that's testing out your endurance, whereas lifting a heavy case up once and putting it over your head is testing out your strength. Okay, so that's just a few different examples that help you understand the differences between muscular strength and muscular endurance. Um, so both are really important in our day-to-day -day lives because we use them at different times. So an example of um, strength where you might get up from a chair once. So that's showing that you have enough strength to stand up, which elderly people don't always have the ability. So that would be a sign that they don't have enough strength. But then what they might be able to do is walk across the room, walk out on the street, and they find that a lot easier because that's working their endurance. So um, for yourselves, um, 
getting up from a chair would be quite nice and easy. Going for a walk would be easy. So that shows you've got enough strength and endurance to do those activities. If you don't run, and I asked you to go for a run, you might be puffing and not able to keep going after a couple of minutes. And that's a sign that you don't have enough endurance, both in your cardiovascular system and muscles, to keep going for a long period of time. So that's an example of um, maybe a day-to-day -day activity that you might do where your muscular endurance is challenged. Um, so your final um, aspect of muscle training is muscle power. And that is looking at how much you can lift. So that's similar to your strength, but how quickly you can do it. So it takes time into consideration. So a good example of um, someone who's got high levels of muscular power is a sprinter that sprints 100 meters. So they're considering the weight is their body, the distance is 100 meters, and the time is what we're, what we're measuring is how fast they can get their body from A to B. And they, all three components need to be involved um, to measure muscular power. So someone who's a sprinter, they will do training in the gym that's really designed to improve their power. So that'll be doing weights as fast as they can or pushing uh, a piece of equipment. So a prowler is an example. It's like a metal frame. You put it on a track and they push it through the room as fast as they can. And if they find it easy, you're going to start putting weight on it. So it's challenging them even further and they have to push it as fast as they can from A to B with additional weight and that's gonna improve their sprinting ability. I recently was working in the park over the summer and there was people practicing sprinting and they put a, um, a parachute attachment onto their body and it would be behind them and they would run against the resistance of the parachute and that would be again working their, um, how they're powering their legs because they're trying to sprint as fast as they can. So that's taken into the time aspect and they're trying to get from A to B as fast as they can against resistance. So again, improving their power. So hopefully that gives you an understanding of the three different um, types of training in, in your muscles, endurance, strength, and power. Um, so what I'll do, I'll finish off by just explaining the rep ranges that you'd likely use for um, the different um, training programs. So muscular endurance, you're gonna be working in a rep range 15 and above so you're going to be wanting to use lighter weights and doing higher repetitions so 15 and above is best for endurance muscular power uh, sorry muscular strength would be something between say 5 to 12 um, and you're going to be looking to use heavier weights and doing less reps compared to the endurance so five repetitions with a really heavy weight is going to improve your strength whereas um, 15 repetitions with a lightweight is going to improve your endurance. So the last one, as I say, muscular power, you're likely to be doing repetitions to say three to five, and it's not going to be as heavy as you'd be working with a strength program because you're going again, you're trying to do it as fast as you can. Um, so you have to take a little bit of weight off. More weight than you'd be using for endurance, but slightly less um, for you, that you'd be using for strength. Um, and that's when you're lifting a uh, weight. Um, whereas if you was doing a, a sprinting activity, um, you'd put weight on the frame and push it as far as you can over 10 meters. And again, you might do that three to five times. So yeah, hopefully that all makes sense. Um, and you've got an understanding of muscular endurance, muscular strength, and muscular power. Um, any questions, please put it in the box. I know I'll waffle sometimes, so I might, you might want me to explain something again, a little bit more clearly. Um, and if you guys have got anything that you want me to talk about, then I'm more than happy to add it in. As I said, Fran suggested this one uh, this week and I was more than happy to um, give that information across because you guys are going to have different interests and I want to be able to um, cover those areas for you as well. So please give your suggestions and then we can put those into the programme in the coming weeks. Have a great weekend and I will see you all next week.